Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my makeup collection. So here is all of the makeup that we're going to be talking about. So this is the drawer that contains everything that I have. And then here on the side of my desk, we have my everyday products. So firstly, I'm going to go over my everyday products and then I'll show you exactly what's in this drawer. So let's get into it. So firstly, we're going to go into my everyday products and then I'll show you what's in here. So here we have my everyday makeup uh, organizer. It's nothing special. I just keep it all because I like to have my products standing up. And I have some products over there too. But let's first go in through this little section. So here in the front we have my most of my complexion products. So I have my Dior Backstage Foundation. This one is like somewhere, somewhere until here. So this one is about to be done, which is great. Um, and then we also have my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is almost done too. So I always try to only keep like two foundations open, one full coverage and one light coverage. Um, just because it depends on the day what I need. Um, and I don't like to waste a bunch of foundations by having them expire because I have them open. Um, then we have my concealers. I have this Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is my ultimate favorite concealer. It's so, so great. It has so much coverage. And... The, like I can literally go just use this and not use anything else basically So this is great And then we have my Dior Forever Skin Corrector Also such a great concealer Then we have my Dior Lip Oil in Rosewood I think Yeah, in Rosewood I have my Fenty Beauty Lip Scrub I don't know if you guys know this product I don't think many people use it, but it's just like a lip scrub that I put on whenever my lips are very dry. I'm trying to make them look smooth. And then we have the Glossier Mint Balm.com. Um, actually, they just changed all their packaging. So Glossier came to Sephora and I still have the old uh, tube. So that's a bummer, but that's okay. I like this product a lot too. Oh, let me put this like that. Alright, then up here I have some brow products. I have my brow powder, my dip brow, all both by Anastasia. These are like some of the only few products that I have for my brows. Then I have my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I kind of need to declutter this product because it's pretty old. But this works wonders. Like this covers any blemish I have. So, love that. And then I have this Charlotte Tilbury Corrector. Then over here, I have my Filmstar Bronzing Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, I'm about to be done with this. I'm trying to finish up the bronzer and then just start up with a new bronzer. It's a highlighter I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so I'm probably going to declutter this palette once I finish my bronzer. But that's that. And then here I have my blush. So I'm not trying to pen anything specifically. But I do like to pen at least one blush again. So... This is the one I'm going for. It's the Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush. Such a beautiful shade and it works with everything. So, there is that. And then here in the back, it's kind of tight. Um, we have the Milk Hydro Grip and Refreshing Spray. I don't really like this as a setting spray. I just use it to refresh my face if I need to. Then we have my favorite, my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've already went through like two of the bigger bottles and now I have a small one. And I'm going to probably keep this because I like to use this for travel. So, there's that. And then I have some random products. I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and this Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in Central Pay. These are both like freebies that I got with certain sets. So, these are just in here. Then I have two Venti Glosses. I have Fenty Heat and the regular Fenty. So the Fenty Heat is in the shade Fussy Heat. And this one is in Fussy. These are the prettiest shades, I think, um, for my skin tone. I like them a lot. Then we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Blush Stick. What do you call this? Stick Blush in Latte. This is such a pretty shade. It's a very nude shade. It's very pretty for every day. As you can see, I've already used quite a bit. Not much, but a bit. And then on the other side, there's a brush. So I've used this quite a bit whenever I fly to my home country or anything. I use this one. And then over here, I have the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. Shaping Wax. in the tinted one. 
this gets so messy and dirty so i don't really use this but i kind of just want to use it up all right and then here in the back i have my unseen sunscreen by super goop just for every day i have the anastasia clear brow gel also for every day and i have a bunch of pencils i usually find these very boring to watch because don't use many i have an eyeliner from tarte this eyeliner from benefit this one is really good the their real extreme precision liner i have a brow base from anastasia i have this double-ended uh, eyeliner from charlotte silvery it has like a shimmery one and then the black liner on the, on the other side i have the lip liner in pillow talk another black liner by charlotte tilbury and a miniature brow whiz as well and then here finally i have this benefit highbrow i've had this for so long and i don't ever use it but this is actually a really nice product as you can see i need to sharpen it but it's hard to see but this is like a, a beige whitish color that you put under your brows and it shapes them like you usually do with concealer so this is a pretty good product so that's everything that's in here and then over here i have my other everyday products so we have my laura mercier powder um in translucent i'm about to finish this one up um just very simple i don't think i would repurchase this just because it's very powdery on my skin so there's that i have my tatcha liquid silk canvas i prefer the pot of the one over this one but obviously i'm going to use it up because this is pretty expensive then we have the charlotte tilbury magic cream light this is my current moisturizer that i use when i apply makeup and then here in the back i have this almost empty setting spray this is not enough anymore to spray so what i do is i use this for my brow wax the pressure cup one i just showed you i just put some of drops of this one in there and then it works fine on my brows and then i know there's some other stuff here i'll just show you i have this bath and body works golden ocean pearl uh spray and i have the crisp morning air spray just for my room and that's basically everything i have for my everyday makeup products and that's everything i have for my everyday makeup products now let's go into my actual collection so this is where I keep all my makeup products. I try to not have more makeup than fits in this drawer. So this is my makeup collection. As you can see, I have a lot of products and I also have way more than any person possibly needs. But that's okay. I love makeup. I've been collecting makeup for years now and I just like this is one of my hobbies. So I'm just going to show you every single product I have. Um, there's some stuff in the back. As you know with Ikea drawers, you're not able to fully open them. So I'm going to show you exactly what's all in the back over here. And then I'll go into detail of each product that I have. Okay, I just removed everything from behind here. Um, there's nothing else on the other side. So this is everything that's kind of hidden. So let's start with this over here. I have this little Sephora like box with a bunch of products uh, that I don't really use on a daily so these are some of those products i have three fenty glosses glosses um i have them in glass slipper diamond milk and hot cherry i have two other ones in my everyday makeup section so i'm just keeping these here until i finish one of those i have a petrol tall lipstick in the shade oh she's single and some other charlotte Tilbury lipsticks i'm not a huge lipstick fan which is why i keep them here i'm more of a gloss person so that's why they're in the back of my drawer then i have this cream blush by fenty beauty in the shade summertime wine it's a very pretty shade i'm just not gravitating towards this product right now so i'm just keeping it in the back maybe one day i will use it again but it's too pretty to let go of so just keeping that in here too then i have this lipstick by dior i received this uh for free in my dior order i posted a dior haul recently i'll tag it up here um this is the Dior lipstick in triple nine velvet. It's very pretty. It's just this bright red color. It's very pretty. I'm not sure when I'm gonna use this, but I'll just keep it here and see what I'm gonna do with it. Then I also keep my pencil sharpener here. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury. And then lastly, I keep this Hourglass 
ambient lighting palette so i know these are not setting powders these are finishing powders and i usually don't know what to do with finishing powders so i'm just not using it so if any of you have has a tip or anything on how to use this please let me know because i'm lost which is why i'm not using it so that's all these products i'm gonna put this back here then i have my nars palette this is one of the prettiest blush palettes nars ever came out with i love this packaging so much it's the Overless Cheek Palette, and the shades in here are so pretty. Like, these are such natural shades. So these top ones are highlighters, and the bottom row is blushes. I'm not able to figure out how to use these top blushes. They're like, when I try to swatch them, there's barely any product coming off. And they're like a weird texture. So I think you need a special brush for this, but I just haven't figured out what type of brush it is. So I'm not using this. However, these blushes in general are very pretty, so I'll never put this palette away just because of the packaging like this is such a pretty product then in the back i also just keep an extra beauty blender i actually really like the real technique uh sponges way better so i'm not really using it i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it or just give it away to someone but that's in here too and then let's go over some of my favorite palettes i have three of these charlotte tilbury eyeshadow palettes these are the holiday ones with the 12 pens i have some here that are just the quads but these are my actual favorites. The value of these is also way better than the quads that you uh, can buy, which I'll go into later. But let me show you these. So I think this is the first one she came out with. This is in the this is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, and this is just beautiful pink shades. Like these are for every day, basically. I don't really use these three over here. These are more intense, obviously, but the rest is pretty neutral for every day. So that's this one. Then she came out with this silver one. This is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. This is more like brownie shades and some purple. Again, probably would never use this purple one and this dark red. But everything else is very usable for every day. And then I have this black one. I think this came out two years ago. This is the Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Are Forever. Another beautiful palette. I know all these shades are pretty similar, but they're all just so pretty. So, and this one has like a black, which usually palettes don't come with blacks, which is great. And I'm also not a huge eyeshadow person, but these from Charlotte Tilbury are just different. So, those are my palettes. Then I have, then I have this Gucci powder. So this is the Gucci bronzer in shade 04. I have other bronzers that I'm trying to pen right now, so I'm just keeping this in its box before I use it, but. Look how stunning this is. This is maybe the most beautiful packaging I own. And then this is the bronzer. Very pretty. I'm not sure what day I will actually start using this fully. But for now, I'm just going to keep it in its little pouch, which also is so cute. Um, and yeah, we'll see when I start using this. But for now, I'm just keeping it all together. Then I have these two Charlotte Tilbury components. These are huge. Like, I have small hands. And these are almost as big as my hand. So that's crazy. It's a highlighter and a bronzer. So this is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. This is a very big pen. The highlighter is beautiful itself. I don't really gravitate towards this product just because it's so big. And I know I'll never finish this, so I'm just like, whatever. But it's a beautiful highlight, so there is that. Then I also have this Charlotte Tilbury Airbus Bronzer in the shade 2 Medium. This is a very pretty bronzer. I'm probably going to start using this after I finish my other bronzer in the film store bronzing glow but this one is very pretty too and this one is beautiful actually okay i'm not gonna put these back because you can see my head in the reflection then i also have this hourglass blush in diffused heat this is another very pretty shade i really like the hourglass formula of blushes but here i have this one i don't really have space in here anymore so that's why i'm keeping it separate but very pretty then i have all my wands from charlotte tilbury so i have the pink I have the Spotlight Highlighter, Pink Gasm, Peach Gasm, and then the Contour Wand. I really like these. I've only used the Pink Gasm and the Beauty Wand yet. I haven't opened these two. Um, but overall, I really like them. So I keep those in here too. Alright, that's everything that's in the back. So now we can finally focus on the main part. So I'm going to zoom you guys in into my first section. I try to like organize my drawer by a certain by certain sections 
So this is all like bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. Then I have some lip products, and then I have more complexion, like foundations, primers, etc. So I'm just going to go through everything. So over here in the far corner, I don't think you can see, but there is like another one of these Patrick Ta uh, shaping waxes. This one is in the shade Clear. I, I got this as PR, and I'm currently using the tinted one. So for now, I'm just keeping this one on the side. And then I have one of the most beautiful palettes ever. This Pat McGrath palette. This is my one and only Pat McGrath product. But this is the this one has Divine Rose, Desert Orchid, and Golden Nectar. And this is so beautiful. I'm so happy I bought this. I was doubting on getting this because I have so many products. But just the shades, like this pinky, this peachy, and then the highlighter. Just perfect. I've traveled with this multiple times. And I actually really love it. So hopefully she comes out with more of these. Then over here I have my Patrick Ta blushes. So I bought like two of these and other two I got for SPR. Um, but these are some of my absolute favorites. So. so this one is in the shade She's Different. Then we have She's So LA. This is more of a bronzy color. Then we have She's Blushing. This one became pretty popular and this is a very natural shade. Which I think fits quite a lot of skin tones. And then lastly, I have She's That Girl, which is more of a pinky shade. Very pretty. I really like these blushes. Some of my favorite formulas. Here on the side, I keep a Tarte blush in the shade Exposed. This is my all-time favorite blush. I'm not sure it's still, like, number one, but this is the only blush I ever used up in my life. And what I love about the Tarte formula is they're... The pigment of the blush stays on your skin for a long, long time. Like, even after working out or anything, if you have this blush on, it will stay on. So, that's why I repurchased the shade Exposed. Then over here, I have four Dior Compacts. Probably gonna call me crazy for having all four, but that's okay. So, first I have the bronzer, uh, the Dior Forever Natural Bronzer in 05. And this is the special one that has, like, the engraving. And this is so pretty. I don't want to use this. But obviously, one day I will. Like, just look at this. So beautiful. So I have this one. And then I actually have the exact same bronzer. Just no engraving over here. Which is probably a waste. But whatever. This one just says Dior. It's the same shade, same everything. So I'm going to pan one of these products pretty soon too. Let's do And then I have two highlighters. So as you can see, the packaging is different. This is shiny. This is one more... Puffy, I don't know how you call that. So I have this highlighter in 02 Pink Glow. Got this for my birthday for my sister and it's so beautiful. It's like a pinkish shade, very pretty. And then I also have this one in the shade 06 Coral and this is more of a blush topper. So as you can see, it's way more pink. It reminds me of the Fenty one. I have the Fenty one, but it's just in the Netherlands so I don't have it with me. But this is such a pretty like blush top or even as a blush itself on the higher points of your cheeks. And then we have here in the front, let me close it a little bit, uh, my four Charlotte Tilbury blushes. So firstly, obviously, I have the Pillow Talk one. Very pretty shade, love this one. Then I have the Climax. Also love this one. This is more of like a bronzy one, very pretty. Then we have Pillow Talk Intense. This is a pretty intense one, as it says in the name. And then I have Ecstasy, which is my favorite. As you can see, it's pretty damaged. Like, the mirror doesn't even stand up well anymore. It's fully cracked, and I had to, like, press it in again. You can see the cracks over here. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pen this, if these are two separate, like, components in the shade. But it is what it is. So that's that. Then over here, I have... Uh, these are just the setting powders from Charlotte Tilbury. I have one in the shade 2, which is kind of dark for me, but I make it work and then in the shade 1. So those are over here. And then I have these amazing blushes by Dior. I really hope they will release some more shades. But this is in pink and coral. And I really love these. Okay, now let's move to this section over here. So in the back here I have three Dior components. So firstly, I have this Dior setting powder in one neutral. I heard they're discontinuing this. Um, that's pretty sad. It's such a pretty product. 
Then I have the Dior Highlighting Quad in Universal. This is amazing and very beautiful. And then I also have this one in 02. This is in Glitz. And this is more neutral shades. Alright, then over here I have a Dior blush in 219 Rose Montong. I think that's how you pronounce it. I always keep the plastic on these, but this is a very pretty shimmery blush. Oh, everything is going to fall apart now. Um, I have two Chanel blushes. I have one in the shade 82 Reflex. Like this. Also very pretty. I've used this one quite a bit. And then we have this one in the shade Kiss Dance. I don't know. I'll just show you like this. It's shade 440. And this one is more of a pinky one. Like dull pink. Very pretty. I think I've said very pretty so often. That's okay. Then over here I have my Fenty highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. My all-time favorite highlighter. This shade over here, Lightning Dust, is so pretty. It doesn't have any shimmer. It just gives you a nice glow. And I really like it. And then I use this one as like an eyeshadow topper. Not necessarily as a highlighter because it's so much. And then I, then I have three quads from Charlotte Tilbury. I have Exaggerize, which is my favorite one. Just natural shades. As you can see, I do pretty much everything natural. Um, then we have the Pillow Talk one. Also very pretty. This one I got in one of those mystery boxes. It's Walk of No Shame. And this one also works pretty well. It's not as like pigmented as you, you see in the pen. So this works pretty well. All right, and then here on the side too. I have the Petrukta bronzer in She Sculpted. I've been using this quite a bit as well with the cream and the bronzer. Then I got this Merit um, highlighting balm in Kava. I really like this for a natural makeup day or actually when I wear no makeup. Can we focus please? When I wear no makeup, this is what I like using. It's just like a balm, like it says in the name. All right, and then we have all my Rare Beauty blushes, which is such an exciting one so let me take it out for you so firstly i got this highlighter in mesmerize this is so beautiful i have a hard time actually like making sure that i don't put too much on my face this is so pretty i love this shade so that's in here then i have three full-size blushes from rare beauty i have the shade love encourage and joy that's these three. And then my favorites. I have five minis. I know I have a lot. I actually bought the first ever Rare Beauty set that came out when they first launched. Which is why I have like the three other ones. So I have Hope. This is the shade Happy. Then we have Peace. Truth. Which is the one that came out recently. And this one in the shade Bliss. I actually would like them to sell this just because the big ones you'll never go through but this is so cute so that's everything that is in here now let's move more to the right and show you what's on this side so i have this hourglass ambient lighting edit mini uh this was a holiday palette and i love this shade. they actually had a six pen one that came out i think in 2019 or, or 18 even i don't know um and they, they brought it back in this quad size. And this is perfect. These shades all work amazing. Like I can just travel with this. And I have my, my setting powder, my blush, my highlight, and my bronzer. Although this is not a setting powder. But you get the point. Amazing. And then just like the bronzer, I also have the Gucci powder. Which again, I'm keeping in its box. Also because it's so pretty. But I have another, like a bunch of other powders. Look at this packaging. Gucci just knows how to do packaging. And this is the powder. Very simple. Way overpriced for powder, to be honest. But I got this with a gift card, so I allowed myself to get it. So that's all in here. And then I have my little lip section. So let me take everything out. So I got three of these uh, Patrick Ta, Ta lip plumpers. I'm not sure how they're called. Um, I have the shade Pouty superficial and full serene 
these are so beautiful i love these and they actually plump really well so i keep these in here then i have this Givenchy liquid balm in 001 this is another one like luxury product that just the packaging is so pretty i haven't opened this one yet but it's beautiful and then maybe one of my favorite items in my whole makeup collection i got for free i got this dear lip addict lip gloss in mini like look how tiny this is this is absolutely amazing like i'm obsessed with this and i actually have the full size so this is another product in my collection look at the sizes these are both in the shade 001 i love this so i'm just gonna keep this one in my little box but this is amazing All right, and then I have, you're gonna call me crazy, but I have three more of the Dior lip oils. I know I am crazy. This is a waste of money. I know I don't have to hear it, but I absolutely love them. So I have the I have the clear one, I have the pink one, and then I finally was able to get the cherry one. This is my go-to lip oil. I always have one of these in my bags and I never go anywhere without one. So I love these. That's why I justify having three. Or four, actually, because I have one that's already open. And then I finally have this Lip Glow uh, Color Reviver Lip Balm. Just a pink lip balm. Very simple. I had this before when I was younger. And I think they redid the packaging because the packaging feels way better. But that's here. So that's all the products and over here. Now let's move to the right. I think you guys need to move a bit more. Alright, and now we're in my final section. So... Over here, I just cut it off, but I keep my bronzing drops by Drunk Elephant. I know these are going viral right now. I actually had the old packaging still and I miss it in my life and then I brought it back. And now they're viral and I understand why. Because I actually love mixing this with like my day creams or anything when I don't want to wear foundation. But I want to have a bit of color. That's when I use this. And I also have two Chanel products here. For the Chanel LeBlanc multi-use illuminating base and this is liquid highlighter haven't used these yet but they come in a pump which is great i thought they didn't just discovered that like a week ago and then i have my gucci blush here too in the shade 05 rosy beige so pretty haven't used this yet i just caught this in my sephora haul that i posted i'll link it up too but beautiful I just charged my camera so the angle might be a bit different, but I've removed all of the products that were in here because it's probably easier to show you the products. Um, but first, let me show you these three. I forgot to include them. So these are three of the Patrick Ta palettes. First, they have this very famous blush palette. This is one of the first palettes he came out with for the holidays. I'm so happy I snatched this because it sold out and a lot of people are still saying that these are their... Ah, shit. A lot of people are still saying that these are their favorites. I know he just released all these shades in individual ones, like the duos I just showed you. Um, so I was lucky enough to get my hands on this. Then I got two eyeshadow palettes. So firstly, we have the first one he brought out, which is a Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. Where's the name? Is there a name? I don't see a name on this palette, but this is the, the brownish one. This is from beautiful shades. These eyeshadow palettes are such high quality. I love them. They're also expensive, but they're beautiful. Then I also have his newest one, just a more pinky shade. Beautiful palette. Love it. All right, now we can go into complexion. So as I said before, I removed everything to make it easier for myself to show you um, what I have. So firstly, we're gonna go over this stack, which is ridiculous, but it's one of my favorite stacks. These are all Charlotte Tilbury face palettes so let me show you the oldest one first this is one of the first ones she came out with it's the glowgasm face palette in lovegasm this is beautiful the the thing with these palettes is that they're very hardly pressed so they're kind of difficult to use but i still think this is one of the most beautiful palettes she ever released then she got out with this like instant look of love beauty palettes it's a pretty blushed beauty so many beauty words um but it's like a face palette so it comes with three eyeshadows a bronzer a blush a highlighter and a face powder so this is everything in one i had ordered this and this shade scattered and i had to repress it which was unfortunate but very pretty palette 
and then she came out with this one i think a year or two ago in what was this one called nude gasm face palette beautiful shades once again love this and then again in my recent haul in my recent haul, I finally picked up this beauty face palette that she came out with this year, or last year, I'd say, for the holidays. This packaging tops everything that she's done so far. And look at these shades. I still can't get over this. This is absolutely beautiful. That's why I'm still keeping it in the box, because I still want to feel like this is all new. Alright, so that's in there. Alright, then we have some foundation. So I bought this one um, on sale. They had like a 50% off at Sephora. So I just snatched it. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Um, this was one of my all-time favorite foundations. And then I reformulated it and put new packaging. So I'm not sure if it's the same. But I'm just keeping it in the box to remind myself that it's a new product. That I should open it. Then I have this... Dior Forever Glow Foundation in 1N. Haven't used it yet, so I'm keeping it here on the side. Then I have two beautiful primers. These are both from YSL. The Touche Club Blur Primer. So there's, I didn't know there were two different um, like colors. This one is gold and this one is silver. Then I have this Anastasia Luminous Foundation. This is also one that I bought 50% off from Sephora. So I just got it. I think this is so ugly, but that's whatever. Um, I also think the shade is kind of dark for me, as you can see with my hands. So I'm going to try to save this for the summer. And if I can make it work, then I'm going to declutter it and give it to someone else. And then I have this one, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in 5. In the shade 5. The packaging is so beautiful. This one is pretty drying, so I have to make sure that my skin is not dry. And I have a thick moisturizer that really helps. Because otherwise, this does not look good on my skin. Then I have the beloved uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter. As you can see, the whole packaging is like getting rid of. But this is in the shade 4. I've had this for quite a bit of time. And I actually just brought it back in. Recently, I decided to use it again just because everyone was talking about it again and I kind of forgot about it. But it's a beautiful product. I like it. Then I have this Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Uh, this is another one that they came out with quite recently. Haven't used it yet, but it's very pretty packaging. Then I got the For Forever Glow Veil by Dior. This is the hydrating primer. This is also new, I think. They came out with this recently. I bought this in my Dior haul as well. Then I have this concealer by Lancome. It's a 20 doll ultra wear in the shade Buff. As you can see, I don't have many concealers because I, I go through them really quickly. So there's this. All right, and then I have three products by Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Light Wonder. This is a foundation. Um, the Youth Glow Brightening Correcting Glow Primer and another glow primer. This is the Insta Soft Focus Beauty Primer. So there's these three. Then I have another one of the Dior Backstage Foundations. This one is a shade darker than the one I'm currently using. This is also my summer shade, so I keep that over here. Then I have the Chanel CC Cream um, with SPF 50. I haven't used this yet either. Um, I think this is good, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's full on sealed still, so I can't show you. Cream foundation and finishing powder duo. I have this in the shade light one. Let's see if I can take it out of the box. It's the same packaging as all his other packaging. And this is what it looks like. So that's the foundation and the powder. Haven't used it yet, but it looks very good. And I've seen quite a bit of good reviews on this. It's over here. Then I have this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. This is such a good product. It's a powder foundation. This actually has so much coverage. If you just wipe this over your face, it will cover quite a bit of stuff. So, And I actually just re-released this. I'm not sure if the formula changed or anything or just the packaging. But I really like this product too. Then let's go through some powders that I have. So firstly, I have this Rare Beauty one. I haven't opened this one yet, but it's in the shade light. And I like that it, you can close and reopen the products and the packaging itself. So pretty. 
Then I also have this uh, Charlotte Tilbury one. It is the Magic Powder for under eye and face. Again, haven't used it yet. And then we have my all-time favorite under eye powder by Pat McGrath. This is my second one. It's just a white powder and it's so good. I love this. Then I have this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, perfect for the summer. It's very lightweight and it looks very good on the skin. Love this. And then I have this Estee Lauder um, Futurist Hydro Rescue SPF 45. I love when products have like high SPF. Then I don't have to put my own sunscreen on. So there's that. Then I have some new products that I haven't taken out of the box yet. So this is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. So I'm using one that I've been using for two years now. And it's getting very dry. So I just bought a new one that's unopened. Just waiting for myself to finish the other one so I can use this one. And I bought this one on sale, obviously. That's why I got them early. And then I got the NARS Soft Matte Pot Concealer as well. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. The one that I have now is in Custard and it's too dark. So I got a lighter shade. And this is my go-to. Like, if you need, if you have blemishes, this is what you need. This is so good. And I also have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I haven't used this yet because I'm using the Patrick Ta one. But excited to try this. We also have this Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. A uh, soft sculpt shaping stick in light medium. I recently got this as well. So far, so good. I like this. Keeping that here too. Then I have this blush by Merit in the shade Beverly Hills. How beautiful is that? I love, it. I love the packaging too. It's so different than what all the other beauty brands are doing. And then finally, I have this Tarte blush palette. I recently got this too. This was on sale at Sephora. And as I said before, uh, Tarte has one of my favorite uh, blush formulas. So I got this palette. It's a bunch of pretty shades as you can see. Very good buy. If you can get your hands on this, I definitely recommend. So it has five blushes and one bronzer. So here's a little overview again of my makeup collection. As you can see, I have quite a bit, more than any person possibly needs. Um, as you can see, I also keep it all visible to myself because I like to see what makeup I have. Otherwise, I forget about it and I don't use it. So this is everything. I know this is way more than anybody needs, but I love makeup. I love collecting makeup and... That's all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys liked seeing my makeup collection. And I'll see you in my next video.